Today I want to make a quick video on how to fly your DJI NEO 2 with AR glasses. Now it's not this method is not limited to DJI NEO 2. It can work for pretty much any DJI drone as well as many other drone that you uh, that you have or you may have in your possession. Now I've already made a video on part one with the DJI NEO, the first one on all the various ways you can connect your glasses that way you can get that first person view uh, preview but I'm making this update because there's now a new camera mode that can allow you to get a better FPV view in your glasses now I'm gonna be using the DJI RC2 controller which is this one right here however you can use a phone as well if you don't have a controller but once again if you want to know more on how the connection method watch this video right here and uh, it, is can, it is getting dark and it's very cold and windy, so I'm going to try my best and make the video as stable or as seamless as possible. One of the biggest differences between the DJI Neo 1 and Neo 2 for me when flying with a controller is this one has the ability to fly in FPV via the controller, which makes a very big difference in immersive view. I'm not really sure about the other controllers that doesn't have the display, but for something like the RC2, first thing you want to do is you want to go into this camera settings right here, go to control, and then you're going to scroll down till you see this mode right here. This mode is only available when you have the DJI Neo 2. So if you have the one Neo 1 connected, you're not going to get this FPV mode. So you can either toggle it and start like that. But the next thing I want to show you is the controller, uh, remote controller, right? So you want to go to this button customization and click on it. As you guys can see, I have my button 2 set to follow slash FPV mode. That way when I'm flying, I can quickly change the mode by pressing this button right here. In a second, you're going to see just how big of a difference the flying dynamics is just by having that FPV mode. Now, unfortunately, you don't have that option available on the mobile. However, if you have your phone connected and you want to fly with your phone, you can still have a uh, display. All you got is plug this part right here, uh, plug your glasses into this port right here, and you should get a display. Now, I don't have any of the other controllers, but maybe if you happen to have one of those controllers and once you plug it in maybe you can get the fpv options in the phone settings on the screen i have no idea all i know is that if you try to fly with your phone you're not going to get the fpv option but on the rc2 you're going to get it and that's incredible so i got my glasses connected to the rc2 and this is the drone right here now i'm going to take off This is what I'm seeing in my glasses, as you guys can see. If I turn right or left, it basically does, you know, it, it turns to the left and right and stuff like that. But now look what happens when I turn the FPV mode on. See, now gimbal switch to FPV. Now look what happens. Now it banks. You see that? This is the benefit of being able to turn on that FPV mode. I really, really love this. This drone is not the best in low light, but so this is normal mode and I can put it in sports. All right. So when you put it in sports mode, you're no longer going to get an obstacle avoidance. However, your speed increases and now this feels very much like an FPV drone. This is just crazy. This feels like really, really good it feels very much like an FEV drone bro I'm almost leaning my head <laughs> because it's such an immersive feeling such a better feeling just look at it this is FPV and I don't even need the goggles This is just, this is such an incredible experience for me. I don't have to buy the RC goggles. I can pretty much just use this.
Like you can't tell me this is not an incredible view. And this is all done with a controller. This DJI Neo 2 is so much better than the Neo 1. Look at that. Just look at that. Look at that. Man, even though the, the lower light quality is not that great, just being able to fly like this is simply, is simply a joy. And you don't always have to fly fast either. So if I want to have my obstacle avoidance, I can just turn it back to normal and still fly. You see, it's still so smooth. It still banks. But here I am. Just look at how it turns. <laughs> this is incredible. Well Environment. <laughs> Once again, it is quite dark, but hopefully you guys got the gist of it. I love the fact that this thing has the electrochromic tint. So for example, this is darkest mode right now. You can see it clears out and it goes darker and clears out. Now, you can fly in 3 dove, 6 dove because it has a camera or you can fly in follow mode. What I realized is because this glasses has native 3 dove, I can put it in follow mode and that will give the best experience because then I can still turn, but there is this, you know, that slowness with that 3 dove uh, movement. For me, it's better than the FPV goggles because I can see my environment much easier and I have more of a precise control using this controller. Now, once again, you can connect your phone and still get an FPV view in the glasses.